We're learning new details tonight about what led to the arrest of a mobile murder suspect in Florida just hours after his girlfriend was stabbed and her apartment set on fire on Navco Road. Fox News reporter Renee Diles has been investigating this story. She's in the studio to tell us what she discovered. Renee? Well, Anise and Bob, Jamal Jackson is still in the Santa Rosa County Jail tonight, waiting to be returned to Mobile to face a murder charge. Now, if it had not been for a store clerk in Gulf Breeze who became suspicious of a man who came into the store early July 4th, Jackson might not be in custody tonight. And we also have dash cam video of the actual arrest. This is the Exxon station on Gulf Breeze Highway in Florida, where police say Jamal Jackson came just a couple of hours after his girlfriend was found stabbed in her burning apartment on Navco Road early Friday. My clerk just said that uh, he just, something about the guy, just all the hairs on the back of his neck just went crazy. Uh, just the way the guy walked in. Store manager James Campbell says the man went into the restroom. He came in. Mosed around, went to the bathroom for about 15 minutes, came back out. That's when he called the cops. Campbell says the officer tried to question Jackson. He freaked. And when he freaked out, that's when it went downhill from there. When the officer tried to talk to Jackson, he ran over this concrete barrier, hit this post, backed back over the barrier, and then ran into that pole, which is still leaning. Police say Jackson sped off eastbound in the westbound lane of traffic. Officers followed but backed off the chase for fear someone might get hurt. Jackson ended up crashing into a tree in front of Gulf Breeze Hospital. When officers finally caught up to Jackson, he was still in the vehicle. One clip shows an officer approaching with his weapon drawn. When Jackson refused to get out of the car, he was tased and pulled from his vehicle. Up until this point, police weren't sure what kind of situation they were dealing with. He also had blood on his shoes, apparently, according to the cops. I don't know how true, but according to the cops, he still had blood on his shoes. It was the dried blood that made Gulf Breeze police really suspicious. They contacted Mobile PD and learned Jackson was a suspect in the murder of 26-year-old Satori Richardson. Either the cops were just going to talk to him, say, hey, listen, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Can you kind of clean up and, and leave? That's all they were going to do. They weren't even going to talk to him. They say, leave, that's it. So, if Jackson had not freaked, as the store manager said, the officer may have questioned him and possibly sent him on his way.